So your little one turned one and you know it's time to start them on cow's milk, but they won't drink it. Watch this video to find out how to get them the nutrition they need and get them more interested in drinking milk. I'm Casey Barnes, registered dietitian nutritionist. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for toddler nutrition and feeding tips. So the pediatrician says it's time to switch to milk and you're ready, but your little one is not on board with that plan. They will not drink it no matter what you do. First, this is definitely not a death sentence. I think that we as parents can get really nervous when things don't go according to plan, especially when it comes to feeding our little ones, but usually this is just a phase and there are a couple things that can help you work through it. Even if they are totally dairy free, I'm going to address that as well. First, let's talk about what does milk have in it that we want them to get. First is calories, which is easy enough to get in other places. Second is protein, and again, that's pretty easy to get in other places. The next thing is vitamin D, which is not so easy in other foods, but it is easy in a supplement. So if they're not having milk regularly and they're not getting out in the sun most days, without a ton of sunscreen on, then I would recommend a vitamin D supplement. And I will link one of those below. The next thing that we get to, which is probably what you're all thinking of, is calcium. Now, calcium can be hard to get from non-dairy foods. It is present in non-dairy foods, but not as big of amounts as you'll find in dairy. So I'll walk you through some other scenarios of how to get the calcium, including a supplement, if milk is just a no-go and then we'll discuss like how do we actually get them interested in drinking milk. Toddlers who are aged one to three need about 700 milligrams of calcium each day. You do not need to go counting up every single thing. What you do need to know is that means about two to three servings of high calcium foods, meaning either dairy or non-dairy and fortified with calcium options. So let's see what that looks like. That could mean two cups of milk, but you're watching this video because milk is not happening right now. Okay, so what can we do instead? Another easy way to get it in is with cheese and yogurt. So if they have one container of yogurt, like about six ounces of yogurt, and then say a grilled cheese sandwich or just eat cheese on its own, about a slice and a half of cheese counts as a serving. So just that alone, that's gonna be great for their calcium needs for the day. Fortified orange juice is an option. I recommend limiting to about four ounces or a half a cup a day, and you can pair that with some cereal. Fortified cereal is totally fine, you guys. So think like yellow box Cheerios, the plain ones. Those are gonna have calcium as well as lots of other vitamins and minerals in it too. Another option would be maybe oatmeal made with some almond butter, because almond butter is high in calcium and milk. We'll talk more about this in a minute, but there are other ways to get milk in without them just drinking it straight. So do that with a milk or a non-dairy milk. And then you can also throw in a green smoothie. Leafy greens are high in calcium, but in that smoothie you can also fit in milk or non-dairy milk as well. So for the kids who won't drink milk straight from a cup, or maybe they'll have a sip or two, Adding milk into other foods that they're eating is a great place to start. So if you're adding, like I mentioned, the smoothie and using milk in there, if you're making oatmeal with milk instead of water, um, that's another place to start. And even baking with milk in it is getting them those nutrients. If they are still drinking from a bottle, then it will be harder to get them to drink from a cup. Usually in general, a lot of times we need bottles all the way gone before they want to use a cup but I have another video coming on transitioning away from bottles, so make sure to check that out if that's a question for you. Let's talk about how to get them actually interested in drinking milk from a cup. My number one recommendation is what I call the milky water method, and this probably sounds kind of weird, but for a lot of kids, it really works. And basically what you're doing is giving them milky water. You start with about a quarter cup of milk and three quarters cup of water, and then you can slowly build from there if they tolerate that. A lot of kids will drink this milky water, and then you can slowly go up to half and half, three quarters, and work them up from there. I'm serious, I've heard countless moms report back to me and say, this is what worked for my little one. 
myself included. My daughter was one of those who was not interested in milk whatsoever, and I did this for a while, like several weeks that we slowly built up, but it worked. Some other little tricks that might help, uh, one would be adding ice to it. Sometimes they just like it really cold, and that's an easy way to change it for them. A fun straw can sometimes do it as well. Now what if they're dairy free? That's totally fine. I do recommend either soy or pea milk, like Ripple pea milk. Those are my top choices because they're most nutritionally similar to cow's milk. You can try the same methods I just suggested. Start with the milky water if you need to and slowly work them from there. It gets a little more complicated when we look at the non-dairy cheeses and non-dairy yogurts. One, you may need to do some experimenting to get one that they like. And two, not all of them are gonna be fortified with calcium, so you really wanna check the label. So I think that Daya, that brand, is, but then ones like Kite Hill I've seen are not. So you're just gonna have to check. Other calcium-rich non-dairy foods that you can incorporate into their diet are tofu, sesame seeds, broccoli, ground flax, almond butter, dried figs, which is always a surprising one to people, and leafy greens. However, those foods are not as high in calcium, and so those foods alone likely aren't going to get them as much of what they need if they're not doing any milk or non-dairy milk. So then is when we can look at a calcium supplement. I will link the calcium that I like for kids below, and this is if they're not getting two to three servings a day of a good high quality calcium source, meaning the milk, the yogurt, the cheese, something with around, say, 200 milligrams of calcium per serving. Please talk to the pediatrician if you have questions that are specific to your little one. Since we're talking about milk, it's making me think about breakfast, and I don't know about you, but I hate when I oversleep or I'm just tired in the morning and I'm like, ugh, I have to get breakfast on the table. I have a brand new breakfast guide that has all my favorite quick grab and go options if you need to get out the door or you just wanna make breakfast with your eyes closed and these are all nutrient packed. I do have allergen friendly options as well and things like my go-to recipes plus my favorite smoothie recipes, all so great for picky eaters. Check it out at the link below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.